There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world So it's your girl and it's going to be another synthetic lace wig and this one is also by Sensational. You can definitely get this one at Sam's Beauty. You know I rocks with them. They have all the great new units that are available, affordable units, hair tools, accessories and more. So this one here is by Sensational. It is their lace front wig Empress Edge. This one is the Curls Kinks & Co and the name of her is Head Turner. I did get her in a color T. 2 slash 30 and the kinky texture is what is popping looks gives it that more natural look this is only $28.99 on Sam's Beauty now as you guys noticed in the beginning when I did show the inside of the lace there is only room for one portion to be parted and that is like an L curved part in the wig but you can always move it to the side or you know however you can finagle it just do that girl now from the looks of the unit on the actual stock sleeve photo the wig looked a little bit longer on the model however I guess it depends on your length your torso or what have you but we're gonna make this wig work I think the color is really pretty and universal I think this color is great for so many different skin tones and I like the kinky texture because it gives it that natural look and it also helps to fill the wig out and make it look full. Now as per norm, I'm just cutting away the lace on this unit with my threading shears. And no, today I am not a huge fan of my eyebrows as I mentioned this in a couple videos prior, but we're just gonna get through this and I'm just gonna act like they're not even there. Now, as you see, I'm just gonna move the wig back just a little bit off of my hairline because it's very full. I'm not even going to be able to make a part anywhere else but where it's um, you know, already done for me. But this wig is very full, full of life, and it is heat friendly. So I'm just going to smooth down, you know, the front or the top part, make it a little bit more flatter to my head circumference so that way it could just look a little bit neater. Now when you're using heat, just be a little bit mindful. You don't want to scorch the wig because it changed the whole texture and it'll also change the longevity of it. Now I'm just trying to make it flat in certain areas because I do want just to show a little bit of the front portion of my hairline. Not much, but just enough to, you know, give this, wi this wig a little style. Now, as I said, it does look a whole lot longer on the actual model. This kind of seemed like it went down to, you know, I would say bra, 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 where the bra would hit at in the front. It just seemed like it went down a lot further past her shoulders. Now the length is all right for me. I'm not complaining, but I just felt like, you know, I wanted to point that out because it did look a little bit longer. Now I'm just taking some of the hairs and some of my own little bit of hairs and brushing them forward. And then I'm going to just brush them into the wig. Now these are the wig hairs, little baby hairs. And if I didn't show, I did trim them a tad bit just to make them look a little bit more natural. And now because the wig is so thick, you won't really see too much of the part. So you may want to add a little bit of your pressed powder or foundation onto that part, which I'll do so in a little bit. But my trick to the trade of laying the baby hairs down without adding too much hairspray on them is spray it on your rat tail comb and then just, you know, dabble that into the hair like so. And I'm not really going to be gluing or hairspraying this wig down too much because there isn't much lace to, you know, adhere the wig. Plus the synthetic and I really didn't want to do all that. I just wanted to kind of like press into it right here. And I did put a little bit of the hairspray on the back of my comb, but not a lot to where it's super stuck just to where the lace can just lay still in certain areas. This is where I mentioned using your pressed powder to, you know, camouflage the parting area or the lace. Then 
there you have it you guys the wig came out okay it's not a bad looking wig you know these wigs are getting better and better by the year you know can you imagine what your grandmother used to wear they didn't have all these options and styles to different synthetic wigs they just had to use what they had they had to go with one particular style and that style was called wiggy that was it okay wiggy but for the most part you guys know how i feel about sensational team sensational all the way they always come through and i've never been disappointed with any of their units so check them out on sam's beauty guy where you can get all of the newest units for a fraction of the cost with hair tools ponytails weaves and you know all that stuff for your hair i love you guys make sure you rate comment subscribe leave your comments down below check the info box let me know what you think how you feel i love you all hope you have a super duper day and i'll see you guys on the next one bye